Sports, and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Today, we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here, as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Two teams that came into the NFL together back in 1976. The Seahawks and Bucks are underway. DJ Dallas to return it from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Smith going to look to throw right away. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 13 yards on the game's opening play. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Smith. To the sideline and incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Play action. It's Smith. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. First, you can jump all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. And that particular play just came from the outside. Metcalf motions left. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. Offensively lucky they were able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Metcalf motions left. They snap it to Smith. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, racing to the end zone. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. Suddenly, it's first and goal. After the interception, a quick change in the situation here. White will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Now Mayfield on third and goal. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call. Touchdown! Cade Otten from three yards out. And the Buccaneers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Dallas now to return it from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Back to throw, Smith. As it complete to Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 
11 yards for number 11. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Smith. Dancing to his left. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Metcalf motions left. On second and ten, Smith. And he's got Smith and Jim. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Again, Smith. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Bucs are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. And they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Mayfield looks to throw. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. To throw, Mayfield. Airing this one out for Evans. That is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On second down, Mayfield again. He'll get that out to the flat to right. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The Bucs passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Mayfield down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Here's Mayfield. Under pressure, they got him again. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Throwing Mayfield. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Mayfield off the play fake, sliding out of the pocket. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Here's second and 10. Mayfield to throw it. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Now third down and very long. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, 
Incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And this defense will take over right at midfield. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. And Smith's throw into the hands of Fan. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Smith escaping the pressure right. Oh, and the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Carlton Davis picks it. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Now, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Mayfield. Oh, he's thinking end zone for Evans. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, 36 yards. And the Buccaneers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Dallas now to return it from his end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Seahawks. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. A first down throw from Mayfield. And this will be caught downfield by Gage. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Mayfield. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Devin Witherspoon. And the Seahawks are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. 14 seconds, all that's left of this first half as they come up on first down. After the interception, here's Smith. He'll fire one downfield for Fan. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Carlton Davis picks it. And the Buccaneers are in great shape here as they take over at the 46 yard line.
final play of the half, Mayfield. He's going to try and go deep again. Well, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. They'll throw now on the final play. And that's going to be incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A one-touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, as we get back at it on EA Sports. The fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And so the end of it over. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he's got this down to the 35. And they're going to speed things up here. Mayfield on play action. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. And again, it's Mayfield. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and ten. They'll try the right side here with Wright. And he's into the end zone for the Tampa Bay touchdown Rashad White from 17 yards out and the Bucs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead that seemed pretty ideal there for the offense Charles you take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter decent length drive and you pad your lead as well at the end of it and what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two touchdown lead right? because Taking that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Dallas now to return it from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that will lead you into bigger errors. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings us all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the inter. 
interception. A quick change in the situation here. Following the interception, Mayfield. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown. 